What's up, y'all? I got a package here from none other than Ed, aka the Budget Jedi. Um, chances are, if you've been following me uh, all these years, you know who Ed, aka the Budget Jedi, is as well. Um, if you don't, check out his channel. Um, really cool dude. We've been friends. We've been really good friends for for a long time now. Uh, you know, he, he's definitely one of the ones that I go way back with and, you know, who, you know, we, we talk, uh, we've, we've talked, you know, a lot outside of here on YouTube, uh, through the years, especially, you know, even during those years that I was pretty much, you know, not active here. Uh, we keep in touch through messengers and all that stuff. Unfortunately, we still haven't been able to meet, um, in person, but, you know. I'm sure it'll happen one of these days. Anyway, fast forward to now. Um, this package, it's, it's, it's actually been a while, but um, much appreciated and thanks in advance for whatever's in here. I'm, I'm assuming, I wanna assume, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a few, it arrived a few days later than my birthday, but I, I'm, I'm assuming that this is, this is for my birthday, so. Thanks so much, man. Um, let's just go ahead and crack this open. And uh, let's see what the budget that I sent me. All right. Gotta love this stuff. And there is a note here. Uh, Mock, happy belated birthday. Okay, so it is, it is for my birthday. Hope you're enjoying the summer. Great to, and great to have you back on YouTube. For now, lol. So, for now. So, let me clarify something. For all you speculators and no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> no, that's a, that's a good joke actually. But I want to say, um, I'm I'm here to stay, man. Um, you know, it was it was a really. I don't want to say rough. It was just a really busy, you know, a couple of years that I was pretty much inactive here on YouTube, and that's because I had my daughter. You know, it wasn't even marriage. It was it was having my daughter and just having to really, you know, completely focus on on the family life because um, it's it's tough. As Ed, you know, you know now, you now know yourself as well. Uh, for those that don't know, he he has he actually has two sons, um, but that's that's all I won't I won't get into that that's his that's his business but anyway uh you know I've I've talked about it before how how again I don't want to say tough because it is tough it, being a parent and some of you you know here can also relate it's it's one of the toughest things but it's also the best thing in the world that's why it's like I I like to I don't like to say it was tough um it is it is but um it's just it's also the best thing in the world but it's just it's very I don't even want to say just time consuming. It's just very consuming. It takes pretty much everything. And, you know, especially when your child is really young. Now, you know, uh, my daughter, Summer, she's, she's over two and a half. So she's at a point where, like right now, I can, I can actually leave her alone. I, you know, I, I just gave her breakfast as, as, as I record this. And as a, she's, she's hanging out in the living room watching TV and playing with toys and, you know, I can, I check on her here and there when I need to, but I can, you know, actually leave her alone. You know, I'll, I'll always, you know, I'll always be here making sure she's okay, but you know, you know what I mean. Um, anyway, it's, it's more manageable. Um, unlike before when she was younger and you really have to, you know, you can't, you can't leave, um, them alone for a second, you know, um, again, some of you, who, who uh, have kids, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so, you know, there I go rambling again, but uh, thanks for listening, you know, if you've watched this far, uh, <laughs> and I don't mean just far, this far in this video, but, you know, if you've been watching me, uh, you know, especially recently, I, I tend, I'm sorry, I tend to ramble. I'm, it, you know, it's one of those sorry, not sorry things, you know, if, if you actually follow me, you didn't just randomly stumble upon one of my videos, but you actually stick stick with me, you know, watch all my videos regularly, then you know what I'm about. You know that I, I talk and, you know, I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Maybe, maybe you skim through the video. Maybe, um, maybe you watch a little bit 
you know, and don't finish it or, you know, whatever. Uh, or maybe you do sit through every second of it and w w whatever the case is, you know, just, I appreciate that, you know, you're, you're still, you know, here watching my vids. Anyway, boom, you can, you can see. So let's, let's get to this. Anyway, uh, Ed, sorry, I've been rambling uh, in this, in this video about this, this uh, birthday package you sent me. So here we go. Let's go ahead. Boom. First of all, it's the Star Wars Black Series Titanium Series uh, TIE Striker. So I got the camera kind of far. I got <laughs> lean forward here. That's really cool. Um, I, I, I was a big fan of Rogue One. And it's awesome if you have Netflix. Rogue One is actually on Netflix now. But um, So this is a cool little die-cast model. Um, that's cool. I really like the design of the TIE Striker. I, I love... Um, I love, I mean, you know, if you're from, if you're a Star Wars fan, you're from, like, you know, exactly where Rogue One takes place. But just to generalize it, uh, for those who aren't, you know, diehard Star Wars fans, I love the era that, um, you know, uh, Rogue One takes place in, which is, you know, basically in, in the era of the original trilogy. So it's cool to see some new designs of stuff that takes place in that same time frame that we're all familiar with with the original trilogy uh including the new tie fighter design so again there you go that's really cool so big thanks for that i'm actually gonna crack this open and i don't know if you can see it if if it's too small uh depending on what you're watching on but back there uh those two i recently cracked those open those are the little um the hot wheels ones the starships i got a uh, TIE Fighter and Boba Fett's label in there. So anyway, and then, check that out. It's a, it's a Star Wars Clone Wars. It's a two-pack uh, Special Ops Clone Trooper and Geonosian drone. And it is exclusive to Sainsbury's. I'm sure I'm butchering that. Now, I'm not... I, I recall this two-pack... If I remember right, this two-pack here in the States was a Target exclusive. Now, I could be wrong. It could have been a, a similar two-pack, um, but some of you might be familiar with that. Really cool. Um, but this sticker says exclusive to Sainsbury's. Now, I'm not familiar with that. I want... It sounds like it's, you know, not, not to um, offend anyone. Uh, or, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm probably getting it wrong, but it sounds like it could either be Canadian or European, you know, like UK, London, or something like, or, you know, Britain or, or Great Britain or something like that. So, regardless, this is really cool. I love that, uh, now, now, full disclosure, not a huge fan of those Geonosian drones, those Geonosians, those <laughs> fungi aliens, I mean, they're still necessary. Uh, character uh, and and bad guy, but uh, I love clone troopers uh, and that that special ops clone, clone trooper, really really cool. Um, just to ramble on for a, a teeny tiny bit, um, speaking of eras of Star Wars and you know, I showed this original trilogy and you know I'm right now I'm representing that original trilogy and for me always always representing that uh, Empire and, and dark side. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Clone Wars is actually, you know, I, I'm 40, I'm, I'm 40 now, I grew up on the original trilogy, um, but I actually, I'm, I'm a big fan of the prequel trilogy, and the Clone Wars, the entire series, so basically I, I love, I'm a big fan, that's, I want, okay, what I'm trying to say, sorry, you know, sometimes it's, I don't rehearse these things, so I'm just talking off the top of my head. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is basically, even though I grew up on the original trilogy, I, I think, I want to say that, like, the Clone Wars and, and prequel era is, is my favorite era in Star Wars, largely because of those awesome uh, clone troopers. Um, just, uh, it's a really cool era, and I was... Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ramble on about that, but I was gonna say real quick. Um, one of the reasons why I was greatly disappointed by um, uh, Episode Seven as the start of this new era of Star Wars is 
I guess, you know, being so into the, 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 the clone troopers and stuff and how awesome they were, I had super high expectations for the First Order Stormtroopers. I was like, oh man, they're going to be as awesome, if not more awesome, than the clone troopers were. Wah, wah, wah. So I'm not going to turn this into a conversation about that and why now I understand why they weren't on the level of clone troopers. Um, I'll save that for for another video, something that's more related to um, uh, either episode 7, episode 8, or, you know, the whole new um, saga. But anyway, thanks, Ed. That is, that is really awesome. And then, there's last but not least, oh, this is really cool. Okay, you know, I mean, I'm wearing the Star Wars right now, and there's Star Wars in here, but you guys know me and that WWE. Oh, this is really cool. So it is this, um, it's this WWE Network Spotlight. I don't know if these were store exclusive. Maybe Toys R Us, but then, I don't know, usually a Toys R Us exclusive would have, like, the RS, uh, that little foil sticker. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's, it's in the Elite Collection, and it's Mr. McMahon. Vince McMahon himself. Look at that. That is, that is cool. And he is, um... Oh, here you go. So I'm, I'm going to read. It says right there, but I'm going to read that real quick. So it's a little little bio. Let's hide and signature move and all that, where he's from. Relive the moment when Mr. McMahon caused an upset by defeating Steve Austin to win the 1999 Royal Rumble. Rewatch this match on the best of network, on the best of network on WWE Collections, Best of Stone Cold versus McMahon. So, it's funny, as I'm recording this, I literally just signed on to the WWE Network, or signed up with, subscribed to the WWE Network, like, a day or so ago. And, after watching just what little I've been able to watch in, in those couple days, um, I want to say, I think it's going to be the best $10 a month I could spend. It's, it's awesome to have the WWE Network and just be able to watch pay-per-views and everything else they have to offer like 24 7 it's cool and i'm gonna have to look this up as well um i i don't want to talk about it ram get into it too much and turn this into talking about that but um for those that don't know so i grew up again i'm 40 <laughs> so i grew up with the original era of wwe which was wwf in the 80s no hulk hogan and all those dudes all those classics um, I don't remember when I pretty much kind of stopped watching, but I missed a lot. And, and unlike a lot of, like, fans of, of, uh, WWF and WWE, I wasn't on during the Attitude Era. I didn't come back until, I don't know exactly what year, but mid-2000s, I want to say around 2004. Uh, and again, I won't get into the whole story of what brought me back. I'll, I'll save that for another time where it's more relevant. But uh, yeah, so I missed a lot, and I missed including this. Um, so it, to, to see, I'm going to have to check that out. But there he is, looking, looking beefy as hell, with a championship belt as well and that sweatshirt. So that's really cool. Um, wow. Ed, thanks so much. Um, it's it's awesome, I'm, I'm, you know, all these years uh, having you as a friend. You've been an awesome friend. Um, appreciate this, you know, as well as everything in the past up till now. Um, just this is awesome, you know. Uh, I want to go back to to just my my birthday in general. Um, one thing I think I forgot to mention, in in the big uh, 40th birthday haul. Um, I mentioned it, I think, in my Instagram post. Uh, I don't know how detailed I got into it, but I, I remember, I think I started the caption, like, 40 going on 14. Because for real, how awesome is this? 40 years old. And I'm getting all these toys for my birthday. I really, I can't, I can't complain, man. You know, I got something in my... <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, I'm not tearing up. Uh, anyway, there you go. See, I'm, I'm not, I'm not getting so anyway how awesome is that you know um my wife 
family, friends. You guys sure know how to make this <laughs> this old this old dude feel like a kid. You know, uh, I think I said in my post, um, and I don't know if I mentioned in the hall, but it's like you know, I as a collector, as a diehard collector, you know, no toys, no life. I live that shit, man. You know, I I spend my money. You know, I, I do what I can to take care of my family, and then it's like I spend almost every other cent. Um, on these damn toys and so I, I don't know if you, that's ever weird to you I'm looking around it's because I have all these toys you, you they're not on, on camera you can't see them but I got all these toys lying around right now anyway what I was saying is you know it's like I do a pretty good job of, of getting the stuff I want toy wise you know of course there's stuff that's that's on my wish list mostly just because they're expensive you know, so I focus on the stuff I can get more easier first. Anyway, point being, it's it's really cool that I can still get toys as gifts. You know, um, it's 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 more special. You know, oh, that, that sorry. Sometimes I get a little off track. That's the point I'm trying to make. It's like if I would have bought this for myself. It's like, yeah, I'd appreciate it. So it's, it's an awesome, awesome figure. Uh, awesome to have it in my collection. But because it was given to me, there's a memory there. There's a special memory there. So, like, all the stuff that I just received for my 40th birthday and, you know, just everything, years past, uh, if it was given to me, it's, it's that much more special. You know, a lot of people, you know, um, talk about nostalgia and reliving their childhood. Um, because, you know, a lot of the times in our childhood, there were special memories, you know, because, you know, our parents got us the toys or whoever, somebody got us those toys. You know, in our childhood, we weren't going out. We weren't just going to the stores, getting everything we wanted, pulling out our wallets and, and getting them ourselves, right? You know, so there's, there's, I think that's part of the magic of our, our collections from our childhood is the fact that, you know, most of them, if not all, have special memories attached to them. You know, and and that's different when we're adults because we're we're collecting, we're just buying all these stuff uh, ourselves. Now I'm just speaking for myself. Everybody's you know case is different. You know, um, I'm just saying personally for me. You know, I collect all the stuff and I love the hell out of it. But you know, it just there's 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 no special memories. Just I spent money on it. You know, it's that simple. I spent money on it. Um, but when stuff like this, like this like this you know i'll always remember oh shit you know th that's that's the one that ed gave to me you know and so everything everything prior as well you know um so anyway again uh thanks thanks so much ed uh you know really appreciate uh these you and your friendship i hope your family as well you know your wife and your boys uh, and you guys are doing, I don't know what the weather's like right now on the, on the East Coast, Boston, Massachusetts, but, um, you know, hope, hope you're all doing all good out there. Uh, thanks so much for this. And again, thanks to everyone, you know, past, past and present, you know, um, especially during this, this 40th birthday, wish me, wish me happy birthday and stuff like that and, and giving me stuff. Um, you know, and again, it's like, what do we like a couple of weeks out from my birthday now and still awesome because it's like you know uh what's cool about late presents is <laughs> check that out it's how long for my birthday and i still got a birthday present so there you go there you guys have it thanks so much again ed and, and thanks for watching